Woods got an email that gave us a new directory ID. We have a new chat log. Syntec Inc. has been associated with many successes in the field of biotechnology for the past five years. You know the function of this chemical cocktail. It's why you were probing beforehand. So euthanasia. Correct. Is this for a patient? <laughs> oh. This is possibly the last chance that we're gonna to get to talk to Deb. Tomorrow, what Deb just said is the end. He's coming. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And I don't know who to trust. Six minutes ago. Two texts. <laughs> have we even kind of like made a decision on what we're gonna be doing here? Like have we cemented? No, why? <clears throat> hey. Hey. So Cyphus, uh, I never do this, I, I feel like, but I feel like sometimes people are confused. For new viewers, this is someone who, how do you even explain what's happening? I don't know. Start with who we're just texting. Cyphus, Nelson Cyphus, the founder of a company that used to own the entire building. Ample amounts of malpractice with this scientific company and mm -hmm. experiments that they were running. Evidently, we have some of his property and a lot of the stuff that is our property that he wants, mm -hmm. which is just ridiculous. Uh, like yeah. last time we, we texted, he left us a package. It turned out to be the original key of the Mountaineer, which is my car legally now. All of his property is your property now. Not all of it, considering that recently we found out that Syntec is global. Hmm. or at least within the nation. Because there are some things that made me feel like maybe they hadn't globally expanded yet. You know what I mean? Like what? Previously, en route, we saw that there was something stating that it will allow them to expand. So maybe they yeah. never got the opportunity to expand. That's true. Hmm. I don't know, either way, this guy has been bugging us and is harassing us, and now this text, time's up. You have plenty of time to make your conclusions about what you found in my car, he says. I need an answer now. And don't waste my time by trying to stall again. At this point, it's just embarrassing. The reason we were stalling last time was because he wasn't giving us any information. And he yeah. still didn't really. Nothing so, is like, clear. W what incentive do we have to actually give him anything? How do you even navigate conversations like that, which is about information? You know, like someone, it's not like you both, all right, on three, we'll both tell each other at the same time. It's yeah. like, how is this supposed to work? Straight up. Like, I don't know. it it's... feels like what else can you do other than you or me go first? And I'm not going first. It's sketchy because of the fact that he can't give definitive answers. And mm -hmm. so that makes me think like, are we gonna give an actual definitive answer to this guy who can't give us a definitive answer? Yeah, is I'm that just, an equal trade? Like that's the, the reality of the situation is. Are you texting? Yeah, I'm not stalling. It just takes time to figure this out. It takes yeah. time to figure you out. <clears throat> exactly. We still don't have the full picture. I think, yes, our knowledge of what this world is yeah. or was is a lot more full. We know who Wesley is. We yeah. know more of Deborah and Nelson's working relationship. Typical. You have all been busy, though, haven't you? There's an auto response right here. It says no with a thumbs down. I really want to press that. <laughs> Just no thumbs down. No thumbs down. So what do we think he means by you guys have been busy? Like, do Which we think- Investigating, putting it up on YouTube? I don't know. But I mean, right now he hasn't seen the last, you know, three videos of ours. True, because we have not out them. yet. Yeah. He probably knows that we've been interacting more with Deb. Yeah. Maybe he's scared that we've dropped things to the LAPD officer. Yeah. He's probably watching us too. Like, other than the videos? Yeah. What else does what? he have to do? But how? That's a great question though, what you guys both just raised up, is like, are you watching our videos? I don't know, I've got another one. I would be a fool if I wasn't, as much as I can. <laughs> as much as I can, in other words, it's <laughs> probably... <laughs> What? Did he just make fun of our upload schedule? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think it has more to do with like it's hard to watch this crap, maybe. Oh. oh. So he's just trying to insult us at every corner. Yeah. yeah. Then you already know that a lot has happened. We've discovered a lot. Send. Mm -hmm. Information that not, might not be favorable for him yeah. uh, in regards of like us knowing about it. 
Mm. Oh, that gives me so much anxiety every time I hear that. Mm -hmm. What we did find was that tape that seemed to make it sound like D and Deb and Wes were trying to get rid of him in some form or another. And then since then, we've also seen the Gaius directory where there's a clear on murder plot mm -hmm. from, from D Deborah. to most likely, come on, Cyphus. Murder Cyphus. To murder Nelson Cyphus. Yeah. So I don't know if it's not in his favor. With all the information, because we still haven't made like a pin board wall, which we really should. Yes and no. Yes, clearly implicating Deborah as a conspirator of murder. She had a plan. She got the doses to, to pull this off. I mean, she could kill three Cyphuses with that dose. Way more than that. Way more than that. <laughs> He's clearly done that, but like with all the information of Cyphus, not to say that anyone deserves to die, but like there's a reason oh. why. Was 863 anywhere in your discoveries or are you still being led around in the dark by your puppet strings? Dude, I, hate I mean, this guy. we still haven't discovered anything <clears throat> about 863. No, no, we haven't discovered anything. Was 863, like how do I even respond to this? We're getting there. Like, give us a second, it's like- Give us time. Like, sorry, I haven't been in this world for years, like this guy, where it's like everyone, you know, around him is like trying to kill him. Well, if you're content being run rampant around a bush this whole time, have at it. But I will be taking the steps necessary to retrieve my belongings without your permission. Is that a threat? Is, that sounds like a threat to me. So where do we go from here? Like. Do we try and coax him back? Yeah, before we go there, can you just answer one more question? He said, fine, hurry up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what do we ask? Okay. We know you've seen the videos, the documents connected to us. Why were they in there? You know so much. Give us that before we give you this. Because like, if we're to believe that he knows anything about 863 or why we're connected or Project Pegasus or everything like that, it's like, at least tell us that. Isn't it obvious? Those are there because of Deborah. Can you explain a little more? It's like, yeah, we figured they were with other files signed yeah. D. Let's just, uh, let's just move a little. Getting a bit stuffy in here. She manipulated those events so that they would occur in the first place. Come on. What? So that it would only draw you closer to here. Okay, so what? he's seriously suggesting that D made me move to California. Did D sign off on my rejection letter? Exactly, did D get me laid off from my previous job? So that what? We'd all end up right here? That's a lot so, of effort. So you would have the idea to start your own YouTube channel that you would <laughs> then get the idea to start a production company with, and then you would hire Woods and myself. This isn't Ocean's Eleven. Like, this is, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. complex. And, like, exactly. manipulating someone's life, like, you gotta be raising them <laughs> to manipulate yeah. their life. Like, D is not my mother, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> Are you saying that D facilitated this entire thing and somehow got us all together even before Samantha was born? Like Are you kidding me? I mean, I know, that's the biggest <laughs> thing still is there was a document with my birthday on it, dated yeah. in 97. Like you're saying D did that? You've had to swallow more ridiculous things, but it's the truth nonetheless. She's the reason that you're working at your little studio. <laughs> so condescending. But I started my studio. Yeah, it's not like anyone named Dee contacted you, right? And was like, hey, yeah. you should turn the Matthias channel into a production company. Was there any person who did that? Maybe. What? Maybe there was. Things like you getting laid off. Like I could, if I'm gonna play devil's advocate on his ridiculous claims here, I can see that there there might be some sort of way to psychologically place ideas. If that's been proven, yeah, mm -hmm. like that takes a lot of training and that takes a lot of like years <laughs> to make someone think that they're doing something. 
I don't think it does, not as much as you think. But to be so accurate to that point? Yeah, I see what you're saying, to be so specific. And you wouldn't have had the push to do so with a job holding you down now, would you? But you could have gone that... any way Exactly. With that. You could have just gotten some other, like, office job. Dee I was orchestrating but... all of these things. Like, how did she, like, plan my birth <laughs> and connect it to you and you? Yeah. I don't understand. Okay. And Sam and Woods, then? They were referred here. You guys were referred here. Well, yeah. I was referred by a friend. It was all word of mouth. <laughs> I feel like Wait. things, like what I'm trying to say is that like to start the studio, to go on YouTube, those weren't my ideas. Those were suggestions From by me. multiple people. Go ahead. But he, he brings up a good point. You and I both found out about this place by word of mouth. Like it's not like I was a fan of the studio and then when I'm gonna go apply there, like I heard about it through other people. Deborah had numerous little worker ants she deployed to do her dirty work. I can only assume she did the same here in order to lessen the odds against her. <laughs> Come on. She would have to have a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah, like, this would have to, like... Now I know you're <laughs> trying to screw around with us. Yeah. Because there's no way that people I know personally have anything to do with Syntec or Deb. Yeah. Scent. This is just giving me massive anxiety. Because it's like, it's not wrong, but it feels wrong. Influence works that way but it is plausible that you three have something to do with Syntec and Deb. You can't have it both ways. That's a thing that doesn't make sense because it's like, you know, that's how anything works. No one's idea is truly their own, ever, yeah. with anything. I and mean, that's how inspiration works, right? That's how influence works. That's mm -hmm. how manipulation works, but they all have different ends. But the question is, does someone have that much control, insight, understanding to ensure those ends. She, she just, so, so, so like, she just Truman showed us? Not helping your case. I said, this still feels so unreal right now and that's not helping your case. It's like, it, it's too abstract, it's too bizarre. No need to get defensive, I'm just informing you of the truth. Deb's little project stems deep, it always has. It wouldn't surprise me that she gave herself added insurance to push you in the right direction. I gotta get some air. This is ridiculous. It wouldn't surprise me that she gave herself added insurance to push you in the right direction. To push you in the right direction. This is just ridiculous. Added insurance, like, like what? I don't think there's any truth in this. This is absurd. Yeah, it seems highly unlikely, but the papers were there, you know? Yeah, I know, that's why it's so hard to believe. It's but like, so it's like, if this isn't true, then why were all of those papers there? So, Cyphus like, could have popped them there. I, I don't think we're gonna get anything. The, the more we follow this rabbit hole with uh, Nelson Cyphus, I think we, we should just flip it and see if we can get more information on something else. So what about Project 863? We haven't found much on that. See if he has anything on that. Anything. We've found patient names and numbers yeah. and keys, but like almost nothing relating to Project 863. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Is it a project? I assume it's a project because we keep seeing 863, 863 as everywhere. the prefix of all the little numbers and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's gotta be. And I mean, Pegasus was a project. Pegasus so... was a project. Yeah, exactly. Project 863 has one purpose, to stop me. What? I mean, like, that makes sense, but it also doesn't make sense. If Project 863 has the purpose to stop him from Dee's conversation with us, she said that she finally started getting hope again when Project 863 came around. If it is to stop Nelson Cyphus, my only question is why does she need subjects? Because we keep seeing all these subject logs and tests and all these different things connected to Project 863. If, how does that stop Cyphus? Why does she need to test on patients? If it's all about stopping Cyphus. If Cyphus, it's all about stopping Cyphus. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. To stop you from doing what? Okay, let's say Deborah's Project 863 is to stop mm -hmm. Nelson. Why does she feel like she has hope for that project, especially now, considering Nelson seems to be more rampant than ever? Exactly. Something doesn't add up. We're getting like one angle of this whole entire story. Yeah, and it's right from the middle. 
Yeah. Right from the middle. <laughs> right, we're right from inside it. All around us, we're yeah. getting answers. Yeah. That remains to be seen, doesn't it? What do you plan on doing? He's, he's not, not going to tell, tell us. What do you plan on doing? Like He's, he's not going to tell us. We're too far gone. He doesn't trust us anymore. He's just clearly not even trying to pretend like he's on our side anymore. That's just ridiculous. That's about the fifth final question you've asked me. You're stalling again, but we're done playing that game. Are you going to hand over the serum or not? I feel like responding, that remains to be seen, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that would just anger him. And everything else you requested? Like, or just that? Obviously. So he wants everything. Here's the thing, Nelson. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I, I have to know more information. I'm not gonna do that. Sure, no, I- Maybe if I have all the information and it turns out he's a good guy. Sure. Maybe. Take these Probably. vials that we yeah. don't know what to do with anyways. Yeah. Oh, and what possible reason could you have for that choice? We can't give up the emulator. Because we can't trust you. Well, Not also, yet. It's we such a big We don't clue. know why we're connected to all of this. Until we do, we can't give that up. Uh, you know, it's absurd to think that we can, that we will do that. Unless you're more comfortable with it than I am. I just, I don't see why that would be smart I, for us. No, I mean, I think it's best to just keep our clues close to our chest for now yeah. until we get more information. Like we have to proceed with caution. So you're refusing to comply with my generous offer. Very well. I suppose I have no other choice but to take matter into my own hands. What is his generous so offer? Generous. He hasn't you're not offered us anything. Breaking into the studio again. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna allow it. Oh how simple minded. <laughs> Who says that? Excuse me? Now I'm just text fighting with this guy. I know, now you're just in an argument. I don't need to break in if I can manipulate the situation in my favor. <laughs> what? Is he still just trying to have a conversation? Because he's kind of crossed that line himself. He's already threatened us. Yeah. So what does he mean, like trying to manipulate? Is I think he has friends at high places. He has a lot of influence. So I don't doubt that he is a dangerous man. I don't doubt that he could call in favors. Oh my gosh. Considering you all glossed over that clear plan to murder me that Deb was planning and more than likely still is. You're outright refusing me now. I'm sure you can be investigated for accessory to murder. What? I'm sure police wouldn't hesitate to look into this. Why, because you're connected to them? I'm sure that's not something you want me to do. No, no, it's not. He's literally threatening like, to connect us to murder? Uh, I'm just agreeing if with we, him right here. I'm like, I'm not, no. I'm not stepping into that. No, we don't. We want to step as far away from that as we can. Is that even how that works? That? Because we found something? I can't be charged with that. People get in trouble for a lot less. But it, it 100% if he is, you know, like the briefcase says, connected to LAPD, then give me my damn serum. If you do not give it to me, I'll take matters into my own hands, and any hope that you have of learning the truth goes out the window. This is my final warning. I'm not responding to that. I'm not responding to that. No. No. I'm not. I'm not doing this. This is ridiculous. Some time has passed. It's the fourth, by the way. Yeah. Like five, six, seven, eight hours. <laughs> eight hours, I think, <laughs> until March 5th. And I'm getting nervous about it. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like we've been through a lot and I'm like, how much worse can it get? But the uncertainty of not knowing exactly where it's gonna go because just recap, of all the crap that's happened, maybe just like five second montage of just every horrible thing that's happened to me in the past year. Wait, what? No, Matt, no, Matt. no, 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 no. Uh, what? Okay, 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 okay. Yo, what did you do? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure now you understand where my headspace is at. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's not much else to do than 
ask for help. I mean, especially with the way that Scythe has threatened us, we don't know what he's gonna do, we don't know what is gonna happen. And I don't know who to ask at this point. And so my only thought is Deb. I agree, we need more insight. We need more, like, we need some sort of clue of like what's gonna happen. We'll see. Come on in. For those of you that don't remember, this is possibly the last chance that we're gonna get to talk to Deb. And I don't know why. And that's where the uncertainty lies. Part of me feels honestly a little scared because I, I don't understand what's gonna happen on the 5th. I don't even know if, if this is all just a big setup for something yeah. to scare us into doing things. I don't know who to trust still. I don't know who to, I don't know the, the undercover LAPD guy who everyone thinks is Nelson Syphus and D, who we've only ever communicated through this machine right here. And that's my who pretended concern. to be a computer. And like, that's my concern that? is that this is our only connection to her. And earlier on, she literally said, connection to this will be lost March 5th. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm just trying to think about is like, how? What's gonna happen? <sighs> Are you still there? Yeah, that's what it feels like, I'll be honest with you. We're tired. We're tired of this, uh, right? I mean... We need help, like actual help. We need help. You know, it's, it's, it's a character flaw of mine, you could say, to never ask for help. <laughs> but who does? Who's good at asking for help? This unit recognizes that it is the day before the absolute date of 3.5, isn't it? Yes, March. Fifth is tomorrow. We don't know what to do. How are you supposed to prepare for something you don't know is coming? You know something's coming, but... It's an impossible situation. Oh my gosh. Fear is normal in a situation like this, but you have more power than you think. Nelson fears you. He always has. I cannot help you through it as we pass such a point already. Everything from this point on is you. What does that mean? What, what does that mean? We've passed that point. What does that mean? Yeah, like a point of no return? Like, That's what I'm is thinking. Is that what that means? We've passed the point where she's just not gonna help us anymore? Why? I feel like she would be the most inclined to help us, so to kind of like bow out now is just confusing. When we need it, I feel like, right? Yeah. I once believed that everything needed to be under my control. It was all I had left, and I fiercely defended it. But after meeting you three, I've learned that life itself cannot be so tightly reined in. I have to let the natural course of action occur, lest I rob myself as well as you of the true outcome. What does that mean? That's what I'm doing now. I'm taking myself out of the equation and putting my faith in all of you. I mean, honestly, my response to that is like, okay, I'm glad you learned that life lesson for yourself, but like, how does that help yeah. us? You barely know us. Yeah. How can you trust us, right? I don't know you. All I've seen is green text on a screen. And documents. And documents that are linked to some really creepy stuff. I find that amusing. I know you more than you think. But it is true, charting your own path is a great responsibility. And I've seen what you do with said responsibility. <sighs> it doesn't help. All, all she's saying is, is do what you know already how to do. Like, what does that even mean? But we still feel so lost. This is a world we are still learning about. And yet, it feels like we're the center of it, and everything is riding on us. Yeah. I think she does know us. How? Those documents. I'm not saying she like was able to like manipulate us here, but like, what if she was at least following us through our lives? Maybe she does really know us. <sighs> Maybe she does. Have you looked over everything again? Every last piece of information you've gathered. <laughs> yeah, like every two days. We've done that a dozen times already. It never seemed to help us. Yeah, like I feel like any time we try and kill time by looking at things in the vault, like we've never really come to new conclusions. Yeah, we've we've never come to new conclusions. Like a couple times we found like some directory IDs. Yeah. And that led us to some files. It was mainly just incriminating stuff about Cyphus. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> 
You know, maybe maybe she's right, honestly, is that like when we did look through it, we did find those directory IDs. Yeah. We did find clues that took us to different spots. We did find the Geiger counter that found the serum. Fine, fine. We'll look one more time. But is that all we have left for our hope? There must be more information you can give us. Yeah. If this is Deb and she's been a part of this whole process, like why wouldn't she be able to tell us more if she really wants our help? Unfortunately, I cannot. Okay. Sorry guys, like this is ridiculous. You know, like it, it feels like this is just a loop. I'm, I feel like I'm caught in a loop right yeah. now. If all of it is true, right? If Deb really has lined us up for these futures, why would she get involved any more than she has to now? If we've done everything we can as individuals to be here, why would she get in the way of that right now? And that's the thing, we've done all we can and we're running out of time. Mm. March 5th is literally tomorrow. March 5th is literally tomorrow. We're running out of time. Like if you want this to go according to plan, you have to tell us. Time has always been on our side. <laughs> is that all then? Is that all what? you can give us? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Deb seems to trust us a lot. It seems like, like maybe we need to start, <sighs> this sounds really stupid, trusting ourselves. I don't even know what that means, bro. The only other suggestion I can make is to turn in everything you've found to the undercover officer you've been speaking to. He can keep everything safe and away from Nelson. I mean, are we really at that point? Like, is this our last option? But is that it too? Is that why everything goes dark? Because she wants us to give him the emulator? You see what I'm saying? Like, that well, would make this this unit yeah. go dark. Yeah, but exactly. That he would wants the emulator. That's obviously not what she wants, right? Do you really want us to give up the emulator? Our only way to contact you. Yeah. You will never learn your place in this if Nelson finds this emulator. Even if that means parting with it, it's a worthwhile sacrifice in the end. Why send it to us then? And when we give up this emulator, either way, whatever happens, we give it up. What do we do? You know? What? do we do if we lose connection? She's been our only ally in this whole thing. How will we know what steps to take or where to go after March 5th? She can st still be very vague and it can be frustrating, but she's been the only person yeah. leading us through this. What if she's our only guidance? Shouldn't we take her guidance? Yeah, this is I it. Mean, you won't know. You won't know. Please, come on. Can, can you seriously not help? Please do not be afraid. You won't be left in the dark for much longer. How does she know all this stuff? She's gonna be a master manipulator of things. Like, uh, she's either puppeteering this whole situation or like, we just are being fed bull. Or she's right. Yeah, or maybe she's right. Looking back on this whole situation, she wasn't fully honest, but who was in this entire situation, in this entire dilemma, in this entire world? But she hasn't attacked us though. And so maybe her lack of honesty was not lack of honesty, but more of like protection for herself or, or the undercover officer. I don't think we were ready to like know that we were the chosen ones or whatever. I'm kind of starting to see her picture. All right, we'll trust you, D. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I feel like we are truly at that point where we just need to trust. We have no other option. Most events in our lives are meaningless and have little to no bearing on its trajectory. And then there are moments like this, where everything rides on a single choice. Until that choice is made, you don't know who you truly are. Which choice is that? There's only so much we can do with this information. Trust that you will know when you are meant to know, and not a moment sooner. I don't know, I feel like that's meant to be comforting, but it's not. I mean, all we can do is try our best. Yeah. But she is saying a lot with very little and that is, we gotta do something. Thank you. Now it is time for you to prepare. He's coming. What do you mean he's coming? What does that mean? The end is near. Are you kidding me? Why would you say that? This unit has timed out. Please try again later. Like, I, I mean, is she just saying that March 5th is near? Is this the end for her? Is this the end for her? Is this the end for everything? Like, is this all almost over? I don't know. I, I don't know, but I'll, I'll tell you this. I'm gonna take this SD card and I'm gonna copy it, just in case. Okay. Just in case. I'm gonna take this whole emulator, actually. I will tell you. We probably do need to prepare.
Okay, so what we have to do right now, five o'clock. I think the most important thing, what is that, seven hours until 12, yeah. until March 5th, basically? Yeah. Tomorrow, what Deb just said is the end, he's coming. I'm honestly a little terrified about that. I think what we should do is immediately go over all the evidence, see if we missed anything, see if we can figure anything out. And if so, great. If not, then we make a game plan. I'm gonna stay here. You're gonna stay here? I'm gonna stay here. I'm not bringing whatever March 5th is to my house, my home, if something happens to me. I'm gonna stay here and see if we can, I don't know, protect the Apple II, our connection with Deb. If we collectively are gonna decide to stay here and wait this out, we need much more of a plan than just being here. So I agree. I think yeah, we need I, to go over the yeah. evidence. Make a plan. Um, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. So. This is so overwhelming. Yeah. Every time I feel like I'm supposed to pour over this evidence and what is there? I mean, like I have this laptop, like, I'm just overwhelmed. Yeah, there, there's a lot to go through, and I feel like we've done this a lot and have never really gotten much from it other than, yeah, a couple of directory IDs. What would she have us be, like, looking for? I have no idea. We couldn't get into this anyways, dude. Exactly. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't have the password for that. Uh, like, this is totally used. This is, I'm assuming, the serum that melted freaking hole in our floor. Yeah, and like, what and are we supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Besides just keep this in our evidence locker, this is the serum because this is what Cyphus is after. It's hard to think clearly through all of this crap that feels unanswered, like this journal. There's nothing in this journal, why? Why was this hidden? Do we go through the keys again? Is some number going to spark some reaction? It literally started all of this. It was just a suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... I just feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It feels like everyone thinks I should know, but I don't. Yeah. And I don't know who to trust. I feel like we've kind of made the collective decision to trust Deb, but I also feel like my heart's not fully in it. I also feel unsure of it all. Deb and Cyphus have both had their moments, you could say. At least we've seen Cyphus and kind of in person. God, yeah, assaulting us. Yeah. We still haven't even seen Deb. We're still talking to her through an apple. I just, I don't think there's anything in here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't think there's anything in any of this stuff. I think the only thing that's significant is this serum. That's what we're being assaulted for, the yeah. emulator. Yeah, I just, I don't know why she would tell us to look through this again. There's nothing new. Yeah, we're gonna start moving for ourselves here. Yeah, let's, let's go make a plan. Should we call people that we know and tell them that like we're... Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you ensure that no one comes in tomorrow? I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't know when it's gonna happen. It could happen at midnight. It could happen at, at 11.59 before midnight of March 6th. I don't know. While you're doing that, I'm going to copy this SD card. I'll tell people we're getting like fumigated or something. I mean, yeah, it's best to not worry people. Okay, so I copied that. So what's the plan? Anyone got any ideas? I mean, obviously if this is gonna be kind of a stakeout situation, I think we need to figure out where we are gonna be. Probably in Red Base. Right. Probably Why? in Red Base. I, I, th I think, you know, that, that would be that would be a good idea because what would be the main focus of this today? The main focus for me personally is not even damage of property. Like, property can be fixed, but I'm more concerned in this whole entire mess that we've gotten ourselves into that our only guide will be lost. We're going to be attacked and well, stuff might be stolen and it, it, no one's helping us and someone's possibly inside LAPD stifling, suppressing this case for a decade. Like, I need to secure contact with the only person that actually knows of anything that's yeah. trying to help us. Probably be best to grab something to like whack someone with. Yeah. Not whack, <laughs> but like, you know. <laughs> Defend yourself with. I'll put this here. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think that that's a bad idea. So we should stake out the Apple II, basically. Just just find a place in yeah. that warehouse. We should guard the Apple II, essentially. Yes, we should guard the Apple II. Are we concerned about all our other evidence? 
You mean in the vault? No, yeah. It's in no. The vault. Yeah. If we lock that, there is no way you are getting inside. Yeah. I think just in case too, I think we should throw up some security cameras. I definitely think we need a camera up there to watch what's happening. Here's what we do then. I'm gonna make a list. Okay. And then we'll split up, or we'll what? just do it together. What? Yeah, I said do it together. <laughs> it's only 5:30. I, I know, I know, but I mean, this is a nerve-wracking okay. scenario. Yeah, I, that splitting up is like, I feel like the wrong. I mean, thing even though to it's do. still light outside, it's like, well, yeah. no. just every movie you don't, you yeah. just don't do that. We've been there. Okay, so I'm gonna make a list. What? Snacks, right? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, like on a real note, maybe. Yeah. I can't even think about eating right now. That's how stressed I am. There's this like uh, uncanny valley of snacks, you know what I mean? Where it's yeah. just like, it gets really bad and you're like, yeah, I can eat the snacks. And then it goes back up and you're like, I'm still not hungry again, because it's too scary. <laughs> Woods, did you already send out the message to tell people to not come in? Okay, Yeah, cool. everyone was pleased. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do this? Yeah. Let's do this. So should we set everything up in here? Yeah. I feel sick, guys. I don't know that I fully processed to what we've decided to do here. I think what we have right now so far is a, is a good plan. Once we get these set, we can talk more, but I think these are like absolute priority. What is? The security camera. Before the weapons? Okay. Take your pick, most of them are foam. Yeah, I thought you were serious about you weapons. We these are, are these are fake. <laughs> these aren't. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, I could do some damage with this, bro. Guys, can we agree that we're not gonna like go in swinging? Like this is worst case scenario. Why not? He's trespassing. I'll swing. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Like, like, what is our plan? Worst case scenario, Cyphus walks in. What do we do? Do we wait to see what happens? Bat. People are scared of bats. I don't okay. anticipate swinging it. So you're just saying, scare them you're off. You're telling me, someone came into your house, you got kids, you wouldn't start swinging? This is a different scenario. You're my kids. Plus, <laughs> I don't think we'll have to swing too That's hard. That's oddly sincere. <laughs> <laughs> There's two of us. You've got a camera, sorry, Sam. <laughs> she just. I just. <laughs> bah, bah. Honestly, that would probably do a lot more damage. Yeah. Than the <laughs> that would cut up, dude. There's so many jagged edges on that yeah. thing. This is also just in case we should have these. Exactly. Worst case scenario. Okay. Best case scenario. <laughs> Why is that so weird? That's not. I don't know. It's it's, it's, okay it's, I... it's weird that it's our situation right now. Is all. Okay. okay cool. I got the uh, screws for your mount. Okay. Yeah, cool. to mount the camera in there. You hear the phone again? What? Yeah. Where is that phone coming from? Who has a phone? I want to put it up right here so it kind of gets everything, including the entrance. If I put it over there, you're not really getting the entrance. Yeah. Just in case. Why don't you just turn the light off? Well, because it, it's just going to be in the way. Oh, I see. <laughs> Great. I want to put this guy, like, right here. <laughs> So camera's up, camera's running. My weapon, we're at 750. So now the choice is, where do we want to be? I think an obvious target for Cyphus is the Apple II. Yeah. I mean, we're assuming. I think we should be close, but I don't want to be like that close. You don't want to be in there? No. So where do you think, I mean, where's a protected position? Like. Somewhere oh, up there, maybe? High ground. I'm just saying like in horror movies and stuff, they don't pick a place with two exits. If we are up there, we have the stairs here and we have a door leading us out. They can... don't pick a place with two exits? No, typically people in horror movies run and like hide in the attic. And oh, it's like, why would you do, they that? do that? They trap themselves. Yeah. They trap themselves. Or they split up, which is why earlier, I was like, like no. no. And then, you know, we can decide, do we want to stake out in the closet, in that back corner? I would, yeah, I would say I want to be close. Yeah. 
You don't think we should be in there? It'd be hard to get us all out of there. <laughs> in there feels like we're guarding, up there feels like we're staking out. It's danger levels. Say today is the big day, what is he gonna do for that preparation, right? We don't I don't know. wanna be in there if he's got like a, a gun. smoke bomb or something. A gun. Gotcha. And, uh, and we have bats, right? There's no swinging room in there. True. I think if anything, if we catch him coming in, we wait for him to go inside, then we bum rush him okay. because then we could be waiting right outside the door for him. Okay. I see. I'd like to see him walk in, maybe like empty handed, you know, see yeah. if he has anything in his hands as well. We can um, assess him. We can assess, we can, we can flight, or we can assess and fight. I think that's a really good point. All right. I'll allow it. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> well, let's take all of the stuff up there. There are chairs and furniture up there. Do we have the alarms set for the other bases? Yes. Okay. We're gonna leave this light on, or are we going to turn it off? Oh, we should definitely turn it off. Uh, Why? Because we're gonna be peeking over, right? Yeah, don't, we, don't we don't want him want to see him us. To know that we're here. Yeah, if he comes in, like, what if he see, like, what if he just sees us looking at him? Then maybe he'll run. Maybe. Or maybe he'll attack, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, but still we have no time to like make a move. Go grab some of those. Lights? Yeah. Should I turn off the lights? Is that where we landed? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, no daylight for you guys. So, I mean, I think it's really just a waiting game now. Are you really gonna wait with the camera? You're just gonna have the camera on me for, for the next three hours, four hours? I mean, no. <laughs> just put it down. But also it's just like, we don't know when something is gonna happen. I know, you can put it down and keep it running. Okay. Right? Yeah, just put it, put it on that. There you go. Hey guys. I ate most of the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did. That's... I'm gonna get some work done. You work at night? What else is there to do? You want me to fall asleep? I mean, no, I guess that's fine. I gotta fine. stimulate the brain. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, it is 11.59. What do you think's gonna happen? Like, I don't know. Is, is, I don't is know. it gonna happen right at midnight, March That'd 5th? Be like, strange. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna bust in here right on the dot. Should we... Los Angeles. Turn lights off? Yeah. Let's kill the lights. And here we go. Before I show you what happens next, click subscribe and the bell icon. I need you to be a part of this story because this is what follows. Why us? Why our studio? This is not happening. This is not good. What? Where's the Where's serum? The where, where's the serum? The serum? Is that the only the thing that's missing? missing. This, how is that? <gasps> if you're late to this video, the next video in the story is right here. And if you're new, check out this playlist with the major videos you need to watch to get caught up. You can also subscribe right here. But I warn you, this story is for those whose curiosity overshadows their fear. Until next time, be curious.